the spreadsheet, we're going to solve for the swap price, also known as the equilibrium swap price. This first spreadsheet is one year with quarterly payments. Here are our quarterly payments in six months, nine months, 12 months. Over here we have our forward rate, which is also known as the implied forward rate. We use these calculations to arrive at these figures. We use a process known as bootstrapping to arrive at these figures. That's what these formulas are. Bootstrapping is logical in the sense that an investor could invest in a six-month LIBOR over here and earn 4.25%. The same investor can also invest in a spot market at 4.1% for three months. Upon the maturity of this deposit for the three month, this investor can invest in another three months. If either of these choices was clearly better than the other to the investor, they would have to associate it with the lesser choice would have to rise until it provided a comparable return. If the market expected both choices to provide the same return, then we could solve for the implied forward rate using these equation, using this equation, the 3 by 6, using the 3 by 6 equation. This is the 3 by 6 equation, the 6 by 9 equation, and the 9 by 12 equation. The basis is 360 days per year. Once we solve for our forward rate, which is already done here, we need to calculate discount factors. We need to calculate the discount factors, the present value of a floating, and the present value of the fixed, and the amount of years. The amount of years over here we have. 91 days in, in one quarter, 90, 92, and 92. Once again, we have a 360 day. So we have C10. So we arrive at, at this figure for the years. And we use a discount factor. And then we find our, forward, our present values and our fixed present value. We use that. And then we have our equilibrium fixed rate. Here is very similar to the other page, except over here you can see that our bootstrapping is only having two payments, so we divide it by two instead of four. We have six by twelve, twelve by eighteen, and eighteen by twenty-four. Same here, we have, except now we have 182.5 days, which calculates here. There's our total, and our equilibrium fixed rate would be 4.56%. Is that a help document? And also, we have the online video.